the dream started about eight, nine years ago when at the Trust Council we decided that uh, we would we could see the way technology was going and its importance and in integrating into the teaching and learning process. So we decided that we were going to partner with a number of organizations to computerize the secondary school. And so we worked with the HP as well as the Intel and um, launched, set, you know, we invested in uh, wireless technology for the secondary school, bought, lab, bought computers, you know, fully equipped the lab, classrooms. We actually had three or four systems in every classroom across uh, the secondary school. We, 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 you know, we did a lot of those things and um, that, that's how come Intel and HP came here to celebrate Corona as the first e-learning school in Africa. I think we, we are a very good example of how to integrate um, technology into the teaching and learning process right from the start. We wanted technology to be used to teach, to learn, to research, to communicate, to entertain, to network, maintain relationships with others around the world. In fact, we knew that by integrating with technology, we were opening up our students and our teachers as well to the whole world. We've gone over our strategy a number of times and seen that we had to rethink our initial strategy. It was clear right at the beginning, about eight, nine years ago, that we didn't really carry teachers along sufficiently. So all the years, we've actually now spent a lot of more on training and uh, tra on training teachers, especially on using ICT as a tool in the classroom rather than um, as a subject. And, and so that would integrate into the learning process, enrich the learning process, and of course, let the children build up uh, what I can merely call, actually call global perspectives among the, the, the children. So I think it's been quite impactful in that over the years we, we have gained more and more knowledge. There's greater and greater integration with technology. We understand better what technology can do for us in the classroom. I think it's gotten better and better each year. Well, again, I mean, as part of the, uh, what do you call it, the uh, computerization process or integration of uh, whatever we're doing here with technology, we invested again in uh, software for the library and e-learning soft software. It's not just, I mean, it will manage the borrowing of physical books, but it's also to take us back to, to take us into the world of e-book. Well, that is normal across the world because like people keep saying, and it's a hackneyed term now, but they're, they're digital uh, natives. They, they were born to this thing. They were born, uh, many of them cannot understand a time when there were no telephones and uh, they cannot understand how every individual wouldn't have a telephone. And I think we're addressing it in a number of ways. Before, people just used to write all sorts of letters. Now, we communicate via Outlook letters. They were um, Android, Mac, PC. I think the school is bristling with the uh, devices now.